I just love pieces like this that are just like effortless, very easy to throw on, but something that you can still dress up. my channel it's Sarah here and it's time for another try on haul I have a few pieces from cotton on and from boohoo that I wanted to share with you guys I'm starting to get into that fall transition feeling so definitely starting to move slightly into some warmer pieces but not like fully there I'm still hanging on to summer because summer isn't over until September 23rd so like I said in my favorites video, we just need to cool it a little bit. Let us enjoy the last few weeks of summer because we still have a few more to go. But you can't ignore that the weather will start cooling. So I am starting to gather up some pieces for that. Though a lot of this I can't wear here for a while because Southern California, I know you guys have heard me say it before, but we will not actually get fall until probably November, like mid-November. It's still going to be pretty hot here for a while. <laughs> but anyways, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Say hi. Let me know what pieces you liked and we'll go ahead and jump into the haul. Okay, so starting off with cotton on and to kind of piggyback off of the last haul video that I did, I am going to start with some jewelry that I got. I actually got a variety of things in this haul. I got everything from clothing, obviously, to jewelry, to a pair of shoes and a bag. So you guys will see it all in this, but we'll go ahead and start off with the cotton on jewelry. The first kind of two sets here that I wanted to show you, these are like kind of the same thing but like slightly different so i got two sets of these like little hoop earrings with embellishments so i have one set here this one is a rose gold set and i think it's like a little tangled and this is the addy multi-pack i love all the shapes on this one there's a little sun this is like a little teardrop and then a little like diamond shape right there and then the second pack is the Sierra multi-pack. This one is in silver. It's got a little star. This one's like a little eye or something. And then this heart one. Honestly, I'm probably never going to wear the eye one. It's just not my style. But everything else, I definitely want to wear. I wanted more pieces of jewelry that I could wear to work. And then also were kind of simple enough that... I could really pair them with a lot of other jewelry. So that's why I got these two for. And then the other pair of earrings that I got, these are like a showstopper. These are the Maggie Romance earrings. These are just a pair of black drop gem earrings. I think that these are so stunning. These would go so great just like with a t-shirt to kind of like dress the t-shirt up or you can definitely obviously wear this with something a lot nicer like out on a date night or you know if you're going somewhere that requires you to dress up a lot. This is definitely a pair that you can wear like a million different ways and have it just be kind of like a visual interest point and I love these because it's a nice alternative to like a regular clear or even like pink gemstone. Those you see all the time or iridescent too but I think the black is like super cool something different and it gives it a little bit more of an edge and I am obsessed with black and gold together so I'm definitely loving this pair. And then moving on to clothing from Cotton On. The first clothing item that I got I have been raving about on Instagram. I also wore it in my latest lookbook. If you guys missed it I will link it right over here for you guys but it is I think it's the Lenny Frill Hem Dress. This is a navy polka dot dress. It is so pretty. It's super airy and comfortable. It does have like the adjustable straps if you're short like me and you need to adjust. And then I love this, I guess, frill hem bottom. It's kind of like just like a very subtle ruffle detailing here on the bottom. And I think that this is so darling for summer, but it's something that you can definitely transition into the fall. Right now, this is actually my favorite work outfit to wear because I can wear this to work. So I just throw on a denim jacket and a pair of booties or maybe a pair of wedges right now because it's summer. Um, but you can still definitely wear this in the fall, throw on a leather jacket over it and a pair of like knee high boots and you are all set for a fall look as well in this. Then this next item from Cotton On, I am honestly dreading doing the try on portion with because it is 90 degrees today and I am so hot, but I'll still try it on for you guys because I'm sure you want to see what it looks like, but it's this sweatshirt. It's this um, crew neck boxy sweatshirt. It's kind of like a cropped style. It's a little bit shorter than like a full length sweatshirt. And it says Amore on it. And it's like a blue on blue kind of a tone. 
I just love pieces like this that are just like effortless, very easy to throw on, but something that you can still dress up, you know, once it gets colder, and I'm talking like actually cold here in California. You can totally do this with a pair of leather leggings, but for right now, while I'm kind of in between the summer and fall weather, we're gonna start turning to the point here where it feels very, very much like summer in the day than like fall at night. So it'll get cold at night. So this will be easy to throw on over, you know, a tank top and a pair of shorts or something like that as an extra layer until we get into a kind of weather where I can just wear this as the actual top. Okay, and the next item that I got was a pair of pants, and it is these pants. These are the Carrie Drapey Utility Pants in Olive Night. I got this in a size 6, and I'm so sorry, I haven't been telling you guys my sizes in these. The dress, I think I got a small. Yes, I got a small. And then this top, the sweatshirt, I got a small in as well. But the pants, I noticed for their bottoms, I need to go with a size 6 or a medium just because it seems to run a little bit smaller on the waist. But I love this. This is like a drawstring waist. It's got obviously the cargo pants on it. And this is definitely a piece, you know, once it's not wrinkled. So sorry that it is wrinkled. I just unpacked it straight from the packaging. I didn't realize it was going to be this wrinkled. And honestly, I have no idea where our iron is. So I would have had to completely wash it in order to get the wrinkles out but this is definitely something that i can wear to work as well besides just like casually out on a weekend like on a weekend i'd probably pair this with just a cami and maybe a graphic tee and some flip-flops or sandals or something but then at work i can totally wear this with a blouse and a pair of heels and then be totally office appropriate okay and then moving on to boohoo we'll start with jewelry as well for boohoo so the first thing that i got from them are these diamante heart studs in silver let me open these up they didn't come with a backing so i wanted to leave them in their bag until i was ready to show them because i will lose these these are so small but they are so cute so these just kind of like give me throwback vibes i love these i think that these are like so cute my mom used to have one of these kind of like the style it was more like baguette shaped rhinestones but she used to have something like this in a necklace and so when I saw these, this was like total nostalgia for me. I just, again, I'm looking for more smaller pieces that I can wear to work that aren't too overwhelming, that they'll be hard to layer and mix and match with other pieces. So this is definitely something that can easily go with some layered necklaces or some layered bangles or something like that. And then the next piece of jewelry I did get as a layering piece. I got this bumblebee hanging pendant. It's got the little hexagon right here and it goes in kind of like a Y shape with this little gold bee at the end. I definitely love pieces like this because when you are layering necklaces, you definitely want to make sure that it's obvious that the different layers are different lengths. So this just having that little extra hanging piece here to give it extra length really helps to define all of those different layers that you're wearing. And honestly, it's just so pretty. I love how dainty it is with this little bumblebee and I think that that's so cute You know most jewelry out there is like hearts or just like a little stud or something like that So I like the fact that this was a little bee It's definitely something different from any other piece that I have and the last piece of jewelry was the entire reason why I was even shopping in Boohoo in the first place I saw it in Julia Haven's video you guys saw me unbox it and talk about it a little bit in my latest vlog, but it is this padlock chain necklace. I am obsessed with this. This is showing up everywhere. Like I feel like everybody has a version of this necklace, but the reason why I liked Boohoo's in particular was because I like how thick this chain is. I like how big and bulky it is. So again, this is another piece that I would definitely love to layer. I've actually layered it with that necklace that I just showed you and it looked so cute together. Or this is also a piece that you can definitely wear on its own and it's gonna make a statement. And I just feel like it kind of dresses up anything that you're wearing. It definitely goes with a lot and it also does come in silver which I am debating getting because I feel like I'm going to be wearing this piece a lot so it's worth it to invest in the silver one as well and before we jump into clothing for Boohoo I did want to share one more thing that is not clothing again this one came from Julia Havens's Boohoo video it was like I think her basics that she loves from Boohoo but I got this quilted tote bag that she had shown in it the one that she had was in cream i liked the black one a little bit more and it totally does look kind of designer it's very reminiscent of chanel with this quilting and then just like the black and gold and this kind of style of chain it's super roomy inside it's definitely a great bag like if you're going to work a lot during the week and you need 
more of a tote but you want a tote that's kind of stylish this is definitely a really really good one and then i also like that this front actually is a pocket it's not just like a false pocket it's real my only thing though is that i bought this before i got that coach bag from crossroads that i was raving about in my favorites video so i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna keep this one just because i love that bag so much that i'm gonna be using that bag every day and the thought behind this bag for me was that it would be a work day bag but if i don't want to put that coach bag down then there's really no point in this so i don't know i'm gonna mull it over but i definitely love this bag i think that it is super cute so if you're looking for a work day bag i highly suggest taking a look at this because if i hadn't bought that coach bag i totally would be using this 100 percent Okay, so moving on to the clothing pieces that I got from Boohoo. The first one is just a pair of simple biker shorts. So this is a pair of gray biker shorts and it's a ribbed material. I like these because they're actually super lightweight and really, really comfortable. I did actually decide to go a size up in their biker shorts and I'm really glad that I did because these fit super comfortably. I got a size eight. I usually get a size six and usually the size six is just pinching me a little bit too much in my waist. So this felt a lot more comfortable and I just love the style. I love the ribbing because it gives it a little something different besides your regular biker shorts and I just love this gray color because it's not black and it's not white. Again, it's something a little bit different than the basic biker shorts that you see every day. The next clothing item that I got from Boohoo is this t-shirt dress. It says La Femme on it and I just love this graphic on it. It's a pair of lips made out of like this snake skin pattern uh, with all of this metallic gold detailing on it. I love that. I love snake skin. I love gold. So I was totally into this t-shirt. I got a size six in this. I, now that I'm looking at it, I really wish that I had gone with the four like I was thinking of doing just because it is so oversized. But this is definitely something where if you went a little bit too big and you kind of lose your shape in it, you can definitely get a belt just to give you back that waist and define it and make it just a little bit more girly and a little bit more wearable. And then I'm so sorry, I had one other item from Boohoo and I'm really, really irritated that I can't find it because I just wore it the other night. So I'll definitely insert a clip, but I got a snake skin bando top. I thought that it was really, really cute. Definitely something that's great if you are still hitting up warm weather in fall, but also something that you can easily layer over a t-shirt if you want to wear a bando, but it's starting to get cold. And obviously that snake skin print is going to be great for fall as well. So it's something that you can definitely transition from this season into the next one. And the last clothing item that I got from Boohoo is this windbreaker. I'm obsessed with it. I got it in a size large because A, that was all they had left. And B, I did want it to fit very, very oversized. It is already an oversized fit on its own, but I don't know. I just liked the idea of having a ridiculously large windbreaker. All right, you guys, I am so sorry if the lighting or the angle changed. My battery died, so I had to go charge it for a few more minutes, but we are back on track here. Uh, anyways, back to this windbreaker. What I was saying was that I absolutely love the paneling detail on this. I love the white, gray, and black. It just keeps it nice and neutral, but it's not so boring like a regular neutral colored windbreaker. It's got the paneling detail to give it some visual interest. And why I really wanted a windbreaker is because while we are in this transition of summer to fall, clothing and weather, this is a great piece no matter where you live. If you live somewhere warm like I do, this is nice and lightweight, so it's easy enough to take it with you so that if you need the extra layer, you can definitely bring this along. And I like the fact that it's oversized and nice and sporty, kind of makes it very laid back, but something that you can still definitely style and make it to look cute. But if it's cold out, this material is dense enough that it will hold in your body heat a little bit. And this can just go ahead and be one of the layers that you're already dressed up in. And if you're somewhere too where it rains in fall, this does have a hood on the back. So you are all set come rain or shine. All right, and then the very last item in this haul is my absolute favorite item. I was writing about it in my vlog. Again, if you guys watched it, you guys saw that. And also on Instagram, I had to share these. I shared a little sneak peek of me wearing these because I'm so, so obsessed with these. But these are the Retro Chunky Trainers from Boohoo. I love these so, so much. I'm just like... I'm so obsessed with these. The reason why I'm obsessed with these is because does this shape slash style look kind of familiar to anyone? Let me go ahead and pull the tongue up a little bit more. That should be helpful. 
that looks very, very reminiscent of a designer sneaker. So I don't know, it could just be me, but I think that they look so, so similar to these Louis Vuitton Archlight sneakers. This shape is so close to it. And I love this find. I feel like I found a designer dupe for literally a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of the price of the actual designer ones. And yeah, it doesn't have the Louis Vuitton logo all over it. But to me, I feel like that makes these a lot more wearable because they're going to go with a lot more. I love the taupe suede that's on it mixed with the netting. It definitely makes it seem like more of a nicer sneaker as opposed to just like a pair of regular trainers that you're going to try to wear to the gym. I will say though, these are definitely not for the gym. They are comfortable. Don't get me wrong. These are definitely for walking, but I wouldn't suggest like running or jumping or doing anything like high intensity training in these. And I do also want to let you guys know, I got a size five. These do run big. This feels like it fits like a six on me, even though it is a size five. So if you guys wanted to get these, I would highly suggest sizing down for these. But anyways, that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new here and you enjoyed this, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join my family on here. Hit your notifications button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video.